need to find another way into the E-Tower. Don't worry. Kai can take care of himself. He's okay. I know it. He has to be. Come on, guys. Let's head to the E-Tower. We knew we couldn't tame the entire house, not at first. Certain areas would have to wait, and in these zones beyond the pylons, storms would go on.
This must be the security gate Kai told us about. But there's no way we can move those rocks. Let's see if we can find a different way through. January 2084. Those mandate fools. The data package they sent didn't just affect the core bots. It modified the prime core as well. When I asked them why, they refused to answer. They said they accused me of overstepping my authority when I chose not to wake the other crews. When I explained why, they questioned my judgment. <laughs> the same idiots who might have disabled every core bot on this planet and the entire terraforming system question my judgment? I refuse to accept any more of their transmissions until I can be sure they aren't hiding something else. And if they want to insult me with more accusations, they can do it face to face when they reach Far Eden. For the next five years, I am still the leader of this project and I will do whatever is necessary to protect it. Another crawler? I thought this zone was off limits. Anyone here? Look at this. Victor. He did something to the core bots. And then he ordered them to attack the crawlers? Why would he do that? <laughs> they cracked the tube. And then he never woke up. <laughs> <laughs> that, didn't you? This is your crawler. Your companion inside the tube. Victor attacked the crop. <laughs> but you couldn't stop him on your own. Victor hurt my friend, too. His name is Kai. What's your name? Duncan. I'm Jewel. This is Mac and Seth. No, they're not with Victor. They're with me. We're going to the E Tower to stop Victor and save Far Eden. Will you help us? Good. And I know the first thing you can do. Balanced or not, the cores would be pretty worthless if they just sat around all day. I needed to pair them with another invention, something that would turn them into the construction force Far Eden needed. 
It turns out the personality data at the heart of each core was really flexible. They quickly adapted to the frames another mandate scientist had designed. Combine my cores with his frames, and bingo, that's how the core bots were born. First one we made was the K9 type. Great for search and survey, always eager to blaze a trail into the unknown. With its strength and size, the AP3 core bot is perfect for excavation and clearing obstacles. The SPDR, nothing better for doing tricky, high altitude work. For material and personnel transport, the T8NK can't be beat. And the FL1R is the ideal surveillance platform. I know you have all this information in your crawler's database, but the main thing to remember is the core AI's flexibility doesn't just mean they can adapt to different frames. They also form strong bonds with any human they meet. Beast frames were built for demolition, right, Duncan? Well, let's smash some stuff. They locked me out. Me, Julius Roldan. I no longer have access to the Prime Corps. Has the mandate got insane? What if something goes wrong with the pylons? Who would keep the terraforming on track? The Corps bots never had permission to access the Prime Corps. The only people with access besides me would be the Eden Tower maintenance crews. But... But maybe... Maybe that's what the Mandate wanted all along. Yes. Yes, of course. Why didn't I see this before? There's a spy among the crews. Someone sleeping in their crawler, waiting for a Mandate command to take control of this project. My project! If I don't know who I can trust, I trust no one. No one wakes. Not until I know exactly what the mandate has done.
can check it out. Good. Look at this place. No wonder it's off limits. The shifting sands. Better keep an eye out for storms. I read you loud and clear, Violet. Meet you at the nearest transfer plate. Got it. Wonder what's so important. entrance. Smash that, Duncan. <laughs>
right, in we go.